Hello, it is Dr. Renda. Today I will show you how to create procedural amphitheater in Blender. Select default cube and in edit mode delete all but one vertical edge. This edge plays exactly in the world's origin. Press Ctrl R to create a couple of loop cuts. Create them as much as maximum number of levels you want. I have 7 verticals, which means I will have maximum of 7 levels for building. Then go to Object Mode and create a circle. Set the number of verticals to be divisible by as many integers as possible. This number will be the maximum number of arcs on the level. 120 fits well because it is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10 and so on. It is big enough too, because even Colosseum, for example, has 80 arcs on each level. Create two more cubes. From one we will model an arc in future. Another one will be main mesh, for which we will create geometry nodes. Name all the objects and let's create nodes for main amphitheater mesh. Disconnect input and output nodes and add object info node. As object Choose that one vertical line we built in the beginning, which I named height. Then add point instance node and as object choose circle. When linked in output, it will place a circle for each vertical of height mesh. Now add another one point instance node. As object select cube mesh for X and you will see that it placed a cube for each vertical of each circle. Now we see that all the cubes are oriented in one direction, but we want them to be oriented towards the circle's center. Add attribute separate node. For vector, type position and for result x, y and z, come up with some meaningful names. This node will return x, y and z coordinate of each vertical separately. Add point rotate node. Set axis angle and as angle select attribute. Add attribute math node and select Arctan2 operation. For A and B type POS X and POS Y or another if you code corresponding attributes another. As a result this node will return angle for each vertical. Name this new attribute. I named it Phi. In point rotate node Type phi and that x is set to minus 1. And now all the cubes oriented right towards the center. Now you can select nodes for rotation and group them to make workspace more organized. The next step is to set radius. Add point translate node. Then attribute math. Set its operation to multiply. For A, type name of x coordinate attribute. And B is float multiplier. Repeat the same 
for y. And then combine obtained results with attribute combined node. Result attribute which I named radius. Input in translate node. Now the radius can be controlled with both multipliers. Group nodes connected with radius setting. Now we want to set the number of levels. This is easy part. Add point scale and math node. Choose operation less than. It will check that coordinate and if it higher than some number it will return 0 for that verticals as result attribute. Otherwise, it will return 1. This attribute in point scale will scale 0 meshes of a desired level. The next part is tough. I want less arcs for small radius. Want it to be settable and variable. Add point scale. As well as for height, we will scale zero unnecessary cubes. Add math node and set it to radians and uh, uh, 360 as a value. Add math node to divide input value by the number of verticals in a circle. It will output the value of angle step from vertical to vertical. Add attribute math node. This one will divide phi by the step. After rounding, we will set index number for each vertical, 1, 2, 3 and so on, up to 120. The next attribute math node will calculate modulo, the reminder of a division. And finally, we will compare result with 0, which will return 1 when the index is divisible by the denominator and 0 otherwise. Set denominator to be a number by which the number of verticals is divisible. The hardest part is over. Now we can create variable amphitheaters or other buildings just with three nodes.
Now we will create arc. At first form T letter with couple of loop cards. Then delete those faces. Now we can form arc by selecting those edges and pressing Ctrl B. Drag mouse and scroll wheel to set bevel. Few faces. Now we can add some details. Use extrude E, bevels, Ctrl B, Few, F to create arc, column, conice. Make it more or less detailed. When it finally complete, shade it smooth. In Object Data Properties find Normals and check their Auto Smooth. It allows to shade some faces flat and others smooth. The last thing I want to show you is how to make this amphitheater a one mesh. Go to node editor and add boolean node in difference mode. Be careful, because this node is very resource intensive at this moment, so use it only for a small amount of instance meshes. Feel free to create different concentric buildings like amphitheaters, arenas, towers and so on. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe please. Leave a comment if you have questions or advices. Bye!